Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and I just landed in Alaska. Today I'm going up to the closest salmon river possible to Anchorage, and that is Ships Creek. As you guys can see, the tide is extremely low right now. However, it will gain about 30 feet in only about four hours. For this video today, I just went to Walmart, which is about five minutes away from the airport, and picked up a new combo. For the line I got on my reel, I'm using Stren 17 pound clear. Right here, guys, is gonna be the golden ticket I'll be using today to catch lots of pink salmon and also coho salmon. Right here is the size five with orange, and right here is the orange blade with the orange body in the size six. I highly recommend running both of these blue fox spinners when the water is super high. You can also throw pixie spoons to catch lots and lots of salmon. Now all we gotta do is wait for the water to rise and then we're gonna get on some fish. So let's walk down here. There's nobody over here. Nice fish, guys. Got it on a different lure this time. Size six. My first coho I ever caught. Size six with the orange and orange. Oh my god. Nope, it's a pink. There we go. Yep, I can't see nothing. There we go. Now look at the camera. So, so far, me, you, and these corner guys have caught nothing. No one over there has caught nothing. Fish? Uh, is it? Boom. Oh. Ah. Oh. Quick Man. release. Quick release. There you go. We still got it on video. Alright guys, I'm gonna apologize to my mom right there. Fisher Brad sucks with the net. <laughs> Yep. Sweet. Don't really know how big these really get yet, but as you can tell, got it right in the corner of its mouth. Nice. Same lure? Yeah. Sweet. All right, guys, just looking at a great school of pink salmon. So I'm gonna try some fly fishing. Right here, I got a pink fly. It's got some white coming off of it and an orange tail. Let's see if I can get one.
guys. Check it out. Boom, right on the fly. Just got this gorgeous salmon. Huh? Yeah, I got two the other day on uh, Blue Fox Spinners. But I, that was at Ships Creek or whatever. There we go. Yeah, every single one's been in the mouth. Oh, that's a different one. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, as you guys can tell, I had a lot of fun on my Alaskan fishing trip. Now, the, the lures I showed you at first are the only two lures that I actually caught fish on. I did try to throw a bunch of different lures, but the orange with the silver blade and the orange blade with the orange body seemed to work the best in any different river that we went to. Now for Alaska salmon fishing, a lot of people think you gotta go pretty far to get lots and lots of salmon. However, that's not the case that we found out. We were planning to go to Allison's Point in Valdez to go after lots and lots of silver coho. However, we ended up just going around our local areas. As soon as we got to the airport, we went to Ships Creek, which is only like 15 minutes away from the airport, and we were able to get on lots and lots of salmon. What I definitely recommend doing after you fish Ships Creek is just look around the local rivers. That's what we did. We ended up looking up on the map saying, oh, here's a creek here, here's a creek here. And there's mostly only one highway going one direction. So you pass over lots of creeks, which I definitely recommend you always stopping and checking out. But look at the regulations to see if that river is open. If you guys have any questions at all, whether you're just going to Alaska or anything, just leave a comment below in this video and I will try to answer them the best I can. All I can say, guys, before I wrap up this video is I am super glad I went to Alaska to go salmon fishing. If any of you guys have thought about doing this, I definitely recommend you just go and do it. It's actually not that bad, and it's very affordable. The only expensive part is really the food. Over this next month, I'm planning to do a lot more salmon fishing in my Michigan state. So definitely stay tuned to see lots and lots of other salmon fishing action. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate you giving a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.